Today I'm going to be doing a playthrough on BK3. Now, I didn't post this in the community post, I know. I'm sorry, whatever. But since STW is down, I'm like, hey, I'm going to play another one of the games that I like. Well, BK3. Alright, BK3. So, this game is the sequel to the BK series. Bakura no de Balken, which means Our Great Adventure in English. It's a Japanese game. Speed folder S select Beatsturf BK2 A Bop it up. BK2 BK3 20. Here's my BK3. Alright. So, I'm gonna run you guys through the tutorial. I'm gonna make a new save file and all that. All that jazz. And I'm gonna show you the recap and maybe the tutorial, but I don't know. It's not the logo play. Who wants to? Loading. Bakurano de Balkan 3. And about that logo music, I'd like to compare something in a second. Sound. No, Our great advent. Oh, Bakuran. Oh, B. Bakur. Bakuran. Let me compare something real quick. That's. Oh, Bakuran. Oh, Bak. Baku. Desktop list. Oh, oh. Sir. Level S. Just that. Skype. More op. K. A miss. K. A 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 Proper oh, mute mix slash x checkbox not check va pro right, construct configure settings bus can start stop recording checkbox checked. Right, there we're recording too. Good. OB OB folder view yeah, list BK3 Compare that intro, the one you heard just heard, like the music. You won't be able BK to one four the BK one version is slightly different if you listen to it. LC New notification from Skype. Hmm. Systems else. Desktop list. BKS select B B Bop it. BK3. Alright, it's actually. Um. Loading. Right. New notification. Our Great Adventure 3. The Lone Wolf. So Title fun. menu. Load game. Loads a previously saved game. I like this better because in BK1 and 2, is the option down. Because the first one was new game, like in most games. But I like that reload game is at the top, like in BK3. New game creates a new data file and starts the game. And then we have new game. Obviously, that does what it says. Check for updates. Checks for a new version of the game online. It's buggy. And sometimes some people will get an update when they download the game from Blind Help. I didn't for some reason. But some people will. And what you what you want to do is just um uh, what you're gonna do probably is just click no on that. Or if you try to download it, it'll pop up some weird error or whatever. I don't know. Um. Anyways, you just try to work your way past it. But yeah, that's safety. It's broken. Preferences change various options for the game. In your options menu. Exit exits the game. Crash new load new game. Welcome to our great adventure three. Can you scroll with the story to or scroll through the story deck by pressing enter? This game is the sequel of our great adventure two. First, please choose a save slot to use. Once selected, your data will be automatically saved to the specified slot. Please choose a save slot one. And I already have data saved in one, two, and three. Three. Or one and two are just normal BK3 saves. Three is my chaos save. By the way, the chaos version of BK3 is not commonly heard of. 
but it has some like different features and different improvements and stuff and different things. Yeah, it's it's just slightly different. Like for example, you move faster, and um, there are different. Some of the enemies are different. Like a few of them. Anyways. Two, three, four. So I'm gonna say this in four. Next. Please decide your player name. In the next screen, an input box will be shown. Input your player name there, then press the tab key. Um, I'm sorry. OB, no, OB, Stark and Seg, Ot, Mute, Checked. Not. You guys get to listen to this music while I'm gone. Turn it. Buck, Buck, Oh, check. Not. See you later. Check.
not chat. Next, please decide your player name. In the next screen, an input box will be shown. Skype document answer. Skype 15. Type I'm a man. I'm recording a video. Open type. Oh. Open rich. Open a con cane to a more open type. A M. Recording. But Bacurano de O oh, oh, prop mute mix slash X check box not check. Right. Checked. Not check. But but next, please Bacurano de Bob. So, so Logan is name. Your player name is Logan. Is that okay? No. Yes. New data has been created. Game setup has been completed. Now the game begins. This is the sequel of the R Great Adventure series. Do you want to recap the previous story? If you haven't played the previous games, it will help you understand the game world. New notification from Skype. Okay. Sticky no but Bakurano Deba. What would you like to do? I know. Please recap. Yeah, please recap. I know that. Let me play. And you can okay, get rid of that. Please re A large house at the edge of Crystal City. One day, Logan who is living there with his friends sees a group of bully boys desperately searching for food. Oh, oh, be property volume mute desktop. Hold on, guys. Not chat vol prop mute mic. Alright, there we go. Check not but black your end. A large house screaming give us food, they attack Logan's house. Give us food. A few days later, Logan has a strange dream. Yeah, I know that's not needed. My shouting is not needed. <laughs> Person one, new you. Person two, shit, I'm hungry. Person three, up, that hurts. Person 4, what will happen to us next? Person 5, my daughter. Child 1, Bulluwahoo. Logan, cruel, too cruel. Strange voice, ha <laughs> Die, 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 All the food is ours in. Several days later, Logan decides to take his first journey to find out the truth. At the house next door, he sees a violent bully boy and is forced to fight with him. The bully boys are stealing food here and there because they ran out of things to eat. The enemies are not only the bully boys. A strange man, calling himself Yamajin, kidnaps a child for an unknown reason. Logan successfully rescues the child and heads to Arkhyer City, a large city next to Crystal City. However, Yamajin ambushes Logan and makes him teleport to one of his labs. Logan's friends are captured there. He manages to rescue them and return them home. Oh yeah, that part's kinda fun. At the northern exit of Arkhyer City, Logan faces a monster that Yamajin owns. He manages to defeat it and is given a weird key from the dying monster. The key is a very important key for Yamajin. It can unlock the path to his true lab. Logan takes the path being navigated by the key and finds the truth. One fifty-five a.m. The thing that caused the circumstance is called Yakadank.
What is Yakutank? Is it a human or something else? That's still unknown. However, there is a series of logs that Yakutank and Yamajin were exchanging via email. Tracing the logs, Logan finds that Yakutank's objective is to collect food for himself. Also, Yamajin seems to have been working for Yakutank. While they were carrying out their plan, a boy called Logan appears, which is annoying and uncomfortable for them. To terminate him, the Megasaurus, the extremely large monster Logan had fought at the exit of Ark Higher City, was dispatched as their ultimate weapon. However, the monster, being defeated, Yakadank no longer has a way to get rid of him. The loss of the secret key is Yamajin's fault, because he asserted that the Megasaurus wouldn't lose against Logan. Anyway, Logan now knows the root of the problem. His objective is to find out the truth behind their food monopolization plan. And stop it. At the top of Flame Mountain, Logan faces off with a large fighter robot called Death Robot. Oh, that thing. Yeah. I remember fighting that thing in BK1. And two, actually. But that's later. Oops. Spoiler. Struggling with its accurate shooting program and powerful explosives, he manages to destroy it and pulls the robot's core out of its body. After successfully passing the mountain, he sees a small house. Entering there with no special reason, Logan meets a man living there, known as the Analysis Maniac. The Analysis Maniac is interested in analyzing things. He willingly accepts the analysis of the core Logan obtained from the robot. From the analysis, he finds out the location of Logan's final destination, which is called the Fortress of Yakutank. Oh, Getting into the fortress, Logan managed to find out why the whole thing happened, defeat Yakutank and stop his plan. His objective seems to have been completed, however. However, and I love the sequence of time. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Yeah, that's cool. So, you got, you got like a bunch of, uh, uh, a bunch of people walking into a house, opening the door, and shattering some glass. Cool. I don't know what the sound is, that adventure song. That, that poor person who had to go play in that crap. Okay. A few months have passed since Logan stopped Yakadank and started to live with him and his friend Yamajin. When they were gathering for breakfast as always, it happens. A massive group of bully boys rush into his house and start attacking. Bully boy, today's objective is not food, but you. The bully boys declare their intent to murder Logan and attack him. He makes them escape by asking for help from Yamajin. A few days later, he is called by Yamajin and Yakudank. They ask Logan to stop the bully boys and give him some useful things. Logan started his second journey to find out the reason for the bully boys' attacks. However, before he left home, he was faintly aware of the reason. Yakadank had stolen food from them, but it had already been returned. If they were satisfied with food, the reason must have been caused by their grudges against Logan who killed several bully boys. Well, that's what the, the, the bully boys said. What the Gaki Shonen. Gaki Shonen is the common cause, and 
in this game is that is the Japanese translation. It's kid boy, brat boy, bully boy. There are multiple ways of saying it. I've heard it pronounced like with different different translators. I've heard it pronounced brat boy, bully boy, kid boy, gaki boy. I don't know. Yeah, um, one time the parents are called the Gaki Boy. I wonder if it sounds like a Gaki Boy. Alright. At the house next door, he encounters a bully boy and defeats him, causing him to drop an unknown metal chip. Oh, it's a powerful Gaki Shiro. After that, the city was suddenly filled with monsters and Logan rushed to destroy their origin. In the grassy area outside of Crystal City, there were thousands of monsters strolling around who all had the same metal chip. Again, I wonder why. Oh wait, I'm not supposed to spoil it. <laughs> After reaching Ark Higher City, Logan was captured by a false policeman. He managed a jailbreak and escaped. He heard that the origin of the monsters might be west of the city. He immediately headed west. There was a large factory, millions of the metal chips were produced there. Logan encounters the death robot originally created by Yonkit Inc. and discovered it was working as the factory's surveillance robot. Yeah, After the investigation, Logan returned home to show Yamajin a core in the factory. When he opened the door, he found a cruel situation. Oh, stage... Yeah, um... I remember this one too. This year is bringing back the, like the memories of me playing uh, the earlier stages of BK2. Cause I remember I was trying to complete BK2 for like the longest time. I forgot about these earlier stages. Yeah, I was trying to complete BK2, I was stuck. I was stuck in a level for like a while. I couldn't figure out how to finish it. And I finally did. So yeah, that's... Why is it like just coming back now? Like all this earlier stuff. The bully boys have broken into his house and are being violent to his friends. Laughing, they say. Bully boy won. Ha 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 he. Our target has finally come. Your friends are there. They will die soon, I guess. They will die soon, I guess. How rude. Bully boy two. Oh, you look sad. I never imagined that a guy who killed our friends like a machine had a heart to feel sad. Bully Boy 3, who do you think has caused this situation? Bully Boy 5, lots of our friends were killed by you three months ago. Like you did to us, we are going to kill the friends who are important to you. Is that wrong? Bully Boy 6, it's natural, isn't it? Yeah. Bully Boy 7, and, finally you came. The person whom we have wanted to kill the most has come by himself, not knowing anything. How funny. <laughs> Logan has known. That was the reason. He killed too many of the boys' community members. But still, Logan has chosen to fight, to survive, to save his friends. On the battlefield after everything was all said and done, Logan stood alone. The boys were not wrong at all. Their friends were killed by me. I never apologized. It's natural that they try to avenge me. I will never be forgiven. That's the truth. Because I know that's the truth, I cannot allow my previous stupid action. Why did I fight at that time? It might have been avoidable. At that time, and even now. Did I have to fight? Did I have to kill them? I keep remembering the time I was fighting against Yakudak. The boys certainly were obstacles for me then they attacked me a number of times. Ew, that's a... Yucky spelling. Of obstacles. Either that or the voice can't say it correctly. Which I think it can say obstacles, but... But did I have to kill them, Wall? Come to think of it, I never saw Bully Boys until that time. I sometimes go to Arkhire City to shop, but I've never seen one of them. 
Did something happen to them, perhaps? Sorry, guys. I'm tired. The deeper I think of it, the deeper I regret. The person who caused lots of people to suffer is me. Why haven't I noticed such as simple facts until now? Why haven't I been able to notice? A voice interrupted his thinking. The voice was strong, but not violent. Calm down. You're still standing up there? That's not a good idea. Sit down anyway. My name is, hmm, you know, Ultra Bully Boy. Oh, this guy. If you still draw your sword, that's okay. But I have some things that I want to tell you. I wanted to tell you something, so I didn't participate in that battle. I have been watching it. Logan screamed. Kill. Kill the person who disturbed your peace now. However, he didn't care about that word and continued. I told you to calm down. I told you that I wanted to talk with you. Who said that you must be killed? It's a bit of a long story, but please listen. After that, he explained the bully boy's current situation and its relevance to the metal chips. When Yakadank's food monopolization plan was being carried out, the bully boys, who originally lived in the mountains, lost all their food. They could go to the nearest city, but no one gave food to them because they had no money. That changed the bully boys. They had to become cruel monsters who slashed any obstacles to survive. They were just like wild creatures then. Again, the thingy was obstacles. You know, obstacles. They, when Yakadank's food, they could go to the nearest city, but no one gave food to them because they had no money. Oh, that's where we left off before I uh, dozed off there. Alright. People were afraid and wary of them, and captured them. That was the reason they started to be called Bully Boys. However, their lives changed again because Logan stopped Yakadank's plan. They were able to return to the mountain and some of the members who had been captured and forced to work in Yakadank's fortress were also released. However, they were split into two groups, the one who knew that Logan had rescued their fellow members from Yakadank's fortress and stopped his plan, and the other one who considered Logan as the fucking guy who killed our friends. That finally resulted in the outrage of the hardliners. <laughs> the fucking guy who killed our friends. That's fun. First, they directly aimed at Logan's house though, they were starting to be controlled by someone with the power to shoot the unknown metal chips inside their bodies. The Ultra Bully Boy kindly asked Logan to save them and promised that he would support Logan. And so Logan began another journey. To get a more precise analysis of the core he obtained at the Chips Factory, Logan headed to the Analysis Maniac's house again. However, the path was hard. Thousands of robots invading, millions of monsters being continuously generated. Everything blocked Logan's path and turned towns into battlefields. Saving towns, destroying Yamagen's lab which had been used for producing robots, passing the mountain, fighting with the bully boys, making friends with them rather than killing them, and he finally handed the core over to the analysis maniac. Right after the analysis computer loaded the data in the core, it transformed into a large robot and started attacking Logan.
it should be the death robot, not that, that weak little thingy. He blasted it to pieces and found a thing that he saw before. It was the same core used for the death robots. The analysis maniac managed to pull the data from the core and found out that there was another robot factory somewhere. The location could be analyzed by retrieving another core, which was at the factory being developed in the area where Yakadank's fortress was originally located. Successfully obtaining the said core, Logan got into the largest factory and destroyed the facility. Meanwhile, Crystal City was under serious attack. Oh yeah, we did have a battle for Crystal City. An overwhelming amount of monsters had rushed there and tried to erode the city. Yamajin, Yakadank and only two bully boys, who were capable of fighting against the monsters, have been desperately resisting. Logan warped to the center of the battlefield and saved the city. After the battle ended, Yamajin remembered that the original creator of the cores wasn't Yakadink, he actually bought the tech from a madman. Logan asserted that the man was the bully boy's controller. Dot. Finally, he intruded into the building of the man, who called himself Punisher. Pathing a path through lots of traps and monsters. Pathing a path through. Pathing a path. Pathing a path through lots of traps and monsters. Logan. Is that what that says? Pathing a path. Run dial. Text death star. Pathing a path through lots of trap. Pathing a pathing a path. Buck buck Punisher exclaimed. Buck buck path 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 text star on top BK3 desktop text edit all open. Run dial pathing a pathing a path through law Punisher exclaimed. Star on P pathing a path A T A R N G space P A T H No pet Don't crap Buck your Punisher exclaimed I have had a dream Oh let's get the part where he where he says that he made his way through Punisher's facility It is to get rid of unnecessary things from this world In the world there are a lot of stupid and necessary fucking things For example, useless people, people with no money, unnecessary buildings, stupid statues, silly monuments, I can rot of infinitely. Those fucking idiots who never help us. Poor people, yes, people who are given money because of their poorness. Money is used for them, then the city or town gets poor. Two, poor people are making poor governments. Don't you think that this is kind of a vicious circle? Yes, it's nothing but a vicious circle. Don't. Oh don't. Variant premium voice, voice talk. Voice no Al Voice Allison English. Voice Ava English. Don't you, oh, yeah. don't you think that this is. D yeah, really don't funny. you think that this is kind of very. Variant embedded don't do variant rate 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 right, don't you think that this is kind of a vicious circle? Yes, it's nothing but a vicious circle <laughs> Don't you Variant voice voice Joe voice 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 they wasp wasp and wasp, all they can do is wasp, everywhere around us. Not only that, they sometimes bite or sting us, just fucking shit. 
Yeah, this is a mistranslation. I think it should say buzz and not wasp. Flies are dirty. When I'm feeling fresh air through open windows, they suddenly get in and wasp around me. Don't you think you want to kill them in a more complete way? It is not enough to squish them with my hands or foot or a bunch of newspaper. This is my 10 year conclusion. Once I had a conclusion, I start thinking about how to achieve my objective. And I, an extremely smart guy immediately found out the solution. Animals, insects, plants, other things. Everything should be controlled by me. If I control everything, all works as I want. I can make my utopia by myself. Isn't it great? Awesome. I am the top person in the world. I have the strongest power in this world. No other person can stop me. I am the administrator of this world. Ha 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 The mysterious chip. A mad invention that enables free control over anything it hits. It can even make clones of whatever it hits. Logan challenged Punisher to a battle for its generator and Punisher's most advanced creation. His ultimate weapon is a death robot. However, everything was different from the previous models. The truly completed, ultimate masterpiece of the death robot, search and destruction robot, version 2.0++. In the final battle, Logan managed to destroy the robot. He saw through the madman's lies and forcefully pulled a chip out of him. He was actually being controlled by what he had created. Logan saved the world again and is now the mayor of Crystal City. The city was redeveloped and now flourishes. Punisher found a new job and is now working every day for Logan and his friends. Everything was going well. Until... Until... No one knew that the peace would be threatened once more. That's the end of, di end of dialogue. This now. data has never been backed up. You can create a backup of this data if you wish. Create a backup now. Yes. I'll show you backup so like why not. Backup time 2023 slash 2 slash 25 to 19 data Logan. Total playing time 0 hours 27 minutes 42 seconds players level 1. Do you wish to back up this data? No. Yes. Backing up. Successfully backed up. Data Logan. And now we're on the main screen. Exit. Are you Exit. OBS2 not Valpra concept construct stop recording check. Get the heck out of here and go to sleep. Good night, guys.